What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, with the Gamer Joe here. Welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Log. I casually kind of forgot what series I was doing for a moment, but that's okay. It happens. Anyway, welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. We got some Rotolato that I need to go ahead and spoiler, John. Spoing? What? What is a spoing? Comic question of the day. What is a spoing? It's not an actual word, so I want to see what kind of things that you guys come up with. Uh, for the definition of a made-up word. Why not? Anyway, let's go ahead get those roto hatches going even though we literally have no hey no more eggs this entire playthrough hashtag hype um, But we're gonna go ahead and put Zayden in the party as we actually had a big oofy with Zayden last episode So we totally forgot to save and go to the Pokemon Center as you see where I'm at right now I saved and exited after I got literally like called out by zapdos so that was fun so if you guys didn't check out the last episode goes make sure to do that but we're gonna go and do a quick team recap for you guys we got a lot of encounters and that was fun but you know now it's time to literally add none of them to the team let's go <laughs> we've got jonas level 27 smackdown protect magnitude and low kick with combat host is the ability if jonas doesn't evolve i have a way to fix jonas as well because i'm smart and found ways to uh, help ourselves so definitely gonna have some tutorial videos coming your way uh with some of the things that i've discovered in the series it's been fun like i've been learning a lot and just do, been doing a lot but i'll talk about that after the team recap we got pop up with the refrigerate ability with dark pulse x's are dizzy punch and play rough we've got champion with the refrigerate ability as well with aqua jet ominous wind brine and bounce we got sandy with the weak armor ability with dragon claw moon blast head button liquidation we've got Dotty, the Machamp, with Sap Sipper as an ability, Cotton Guard, Snatch, Brick Break, and Storm Throw, which, honestly, I'm so glad I discovered that. And then we got Zayden with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroller, and Waterfall. So, now that I have time to continue and figure out what's going on, I can actually talk about what I have learned. So, I learned how to fix Megas, because I completely forgot to deposit it in the PC. That's like the one, number one way to keep a Mega, a Mega, is you know be careful um because you know a mega just a standard mega pokemon with nothing is just it's not typically in the game so as soon as you close the game uh it reads it as its regular form so in this case it reads it as a swapper so i messed up but as you and didn't i saved and then exited and then funny enough beers and i were talking in verses and we're like I think that this, 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 this about saving and all this stuff. Then I was like, oh God, I don't think I saved. Um, and turns out I didn't. So it reverted back into normal swapper. And we kept its ability, we kept its IVs, EVs, and everything else. And using one simple tool that I am super excited to make a tutorial on because wow, like honestly, I'm going to, I'm literally going to do that. And it, you should see that within the coming weeks. Um, not even weeks, coming days. Um, probably after this totem, just because there's a little a gimmicky thing that I want. Also, this is an encounter, I believe. I believe there's an encounter in here after you initiate this cutscene. Because uh, I remember getting a Verizion here um, in my playthrough of Ultra Moon, and it died because, surprise, it's Verizion. Of course, it's going to die. Um, also, I feel like I. Do I fight Solaria here? My brain always thinks I do. Um, my like I always assume that I have to fight Solaria because Solaria is just such a butt munch, and so just always, always, always is in my head. Like I'm like, when am I gonna get Rexed by Solaria next? You will never know. And okay, they walk away. Okay, so I don't have to get beat up by Solaria today, but maybe another day I will be being beat up by Solaria. Who knows? Um. But yeah, there's got to be a... What the heck? I swear that there's an encounter in here, and I always miss it. Aha! I knew it! I freaking knew it! I am so happy. It's a Hauntail, which literally is Generation... Oh, it's Generation 3. We don't have too many of those, so that's good. I freaking knew it. I thought, I was like, I swear I got a bruise in here, but last time, then I realized I wasn't, I didn't play Ultra Sun last time. This is, our, I've literally, this is the only, the second time I've played these games. Um, but it'll be good to know for Cage Lock. 
keeping them things in my head because you know i want to win cage lock season three we know it it's coming out we're our goal is to have the first episode drop on the third of june um if you guys are excited about that i'm excited about it like june 3rd like it's about to be john simulator 2.0 no aaron's probably gonna destroy in some of these cage matches and honestly i'm very excited to see aaron's side of the field and seeing the playing field and everything else because i feel like this season there is a very 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 different vibe right but this different vibe is different for a good reason right like there's going to be competition the competition is back as ryan says in the core four projects like every time um uh, but yeah, like literally, I am excited. Um, it's a clean slate, so you never know what could happen. Aaron could literally freaking destroy me and win 10 nothing. Because, uh, yeah, you need 10 points to win. Because there's going to be 14 cage matches, not just 8. So it's going to be even more crazy. The more, more cage matches, more craziness. Um, I've been doing tax edits, and everybody in the community is going to be in it. I've talked about this so many times that I'm going to just kind of you know calm down from there but um i hope you guys are excited for that tune in june 3rd is the goal um i don't know whose channel it'll be on um we'll probably keep it the same way that we have been for the last three cage matches uh we are gonna name this unqu he's been powering it out here in the streams um because i've been doing the oh well fuck i whatever um i'm gonna go to the, i can nickname you unqu You've got Early Bird with Rain Dance, Water Sport, Psychic Terrain, and Bubble. Okay, maybe I won't name you UnQU because you're a, that's a really bad Pokemon. And I would feel really bad if I would have named UnQU after that. Like, oh my god. Like, we can name it Joey. Not that it's a bad Pokemon. We'll name it Joey just because that is a Joey Pokemon. We've named, I think, or we named one Michael, like after Michael Hales before. Um, so that might be... Uh, recurring theme here. Uh, we will go ahead and not fish here. I was debating on fishing here, then I realized I don't like fishing in this game. So, I will instead fight Chloris and then get my encounter. Oh, no. Yeah, fight Chloris, because there's a barrier. Ah! See? I second-guess myself all the time, and it's actually high-key annoying how much I second-guess myself and what I do and how things are going. Like, I just need to believe in myself, believe in what's going on. And you guys should too, because you guys are all amazing. But yeah, I definitely second guess way too much. And I just realized I could I could give somebody Chloris. Hmm. I didn't give anybody Chloris, but technically he's an important trainer. Somebody is going to be a Chloris, and we don't know. See, I completely forgot about Chloris. Like, What's weird is I remembered Caloris because I played black and white. And, oh wait, does he just give me a TM? I thought he fought me. If he just gives me a TM, then I'm not going to name you after anybody. Does he literally only fight you in black and white and that's where my brain's going? Okay, yeah, that's where my brain went. Okay, so we're going to get this totem sticker because we literally, that's the fifth totem sticker and that's it. Because I haven't been collecting the toady stickers. Like, honestly, like, what is the real genuine point of collecting the toady stickers? Also, are we finding a totem today? I just thought about that. We could be finding a totem today because... And the reason why I say that is we're only nine minutes into an episode, and I thought we had Solaria and Chloris fight you. So I thought that was going to be the priority of the episode, but... Mmm. Because the, um... The totem is level 26. So technically speaking, we're on par for it. Mmm, this will be interesting. Uh, curiosity is gonna kill the cat here. Um, or the bird. Um, well, okay, I know it's curiosity. 
I know the thing, but I realized I don't have green bird anymore, so that did not work. Um, oh boy. So, uh, I don't know what we named Pusiana. Um, we're gonna name you, uh, Sophie, actually. I think that's a great name. Sophie the Pucciana. And we're going to go ahead and see your summary and then send you the box. You've got Flatter, Topsy Turby, Brutal Swing, and Bru uh, Spite. Okay, not a good moveset. But, and you're going to change your ability anyway. So, interesting. But another Gen 3 month. So, again, that's another good backup for Generation 3. So, I am not mad. Um, personally, I'm excited. Wow, she can see you from that far away. Jeez. I'm actually personally excited that we get to have some more Generation 3 and some Generation Diversity in this box because having the Onslaught of Generation 1 and 2 was a, kind of a lot. Also, shout out to Shiny Gorbis. Um, and actually, I know that's not a Shiny Gorbis, but uh, Gorbis was the very first starter in Cage Lock. Uh, by the way, I might make a quiz for the channel, like channel events that happen. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Oh, well, I know where I know why Aaron hates this mod now. Holy crap! That did nothing. Okay, Gorbis. Uh. What the heck? Gorbis literally was like, yeah, by the way, I can just casually wreck you with this. <sighs> and Fionn will do nothing. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad we have this challenge now rather than later. Um... I still think champions are best bet here. Uh, Jonas just gets destroyed, but Jonas doesn't have a good special defense anyway. So, resisted plus a good special defense, and it only has 5 PP, so this should only do like 20 damage. It did more than that. That did 30. Um... I'm going to Ominous win. Judgment? Oh, God. Well, Fionn's dead. What sucks is we have no backup for Fionn. Okay, remember when we said we were going to fight a totem? Gorbis said hell no to that. Um... Hmm. The problem was is it was neutral, so I was scared that Zayden would not take it. Uh, I was also scared to see if Zayden was faster or not, which Zayden should be faster and kill with a Thunder Punch, but it, oh boy. Well, this is where, when I talk about needing a Gen 4 or 7 mon, or Gen 4 or 6 mon, I'm not joking. Because not having a Gen 4 mon is killing me. Well, uh, it's Gen 4 has a lot of great mons in it, and yeah. Tyrogue, or, uh, oh, Pig Knight. Oh, I thought it was a double battle. Why did I think it was a double battle? Because I saw two people, but, oh gosh. Okay, well, this is another situation where Zayden has to come in and fix the problem like normal. Ah. Uh, oh, losing Fionn. I mean, I shouldn't even be that upset because, you know, it's Fionn, but still. I don't know. It does. It makes it... Not having a team of six feels incomplete, especially with having a uh, literal storm of uh, backup bonds that would typically, in a playthrough, I'd be like, okay, well, let me just pull Mega Mewtwo out of the box. I literally can't do that. Um, so I kind of lost a very, I won't say a big member because it literally did nothing, 
Um, and it really, what it did was it opened the spot. Um, meditate's terrible. I'm sorry. Um, oh, meditate. I thought we were learning meditate. I was like, that's, that's terrible. Um, but yeah, realistically, it just opened the spot back up. So it's not like I, not like nothing crazy, but, you know, still, when you lose mons, it's, it's still heartbreaking losing a mon, but it's not like as desperate, like we're not as desperate, um, uh, as, you know, some could be. Um, like we've been very fortunate in this, uh, Nuzlocke where... Yeah, we've been having a lot of backups, and we don't have any, like, variety of mons. Um, and it may look like we're struggling, but we're not really. We, this is death three of the Nuzlocke, so... I mean, and it was Fion. Like, it's the trashiest legendary ever. So... As much as I'm, like... As much as I should be disheartened, I'm not at all. Like, eh. I don't like to throw away Mons, and I wasn't throwing it away. Um, but, of course, Gorbis has to come to claim a kill. Aaron knows that all too well. <laughs> like, Aaron has lost locks to that thing. So, and... Oh, we have to do this. Well, let's just say Festival Plaza will take up the rest of the episode. Yas! We love when the rest of the episode gets taken off by some pointless thing that you literally have to do for no stupid reason. Uh, for all, or for all the stupid reasons. Not for no stupid reasons. For all the stupid reasons. But hey, it gives us time to train up. So, positive vibes. Positive thinking. Positive vibes. Um, so, that will work. Uh, we'll be able to... Because we, like, like, we can't add anything. And there's no Gen 6 or 4 Pokemon um, that we have in our box. So, it's definitely ride or die. Um, and I think... We should train our team up to level 28. There's no reason not to. Um, so yeah, I would definitely get our team up to level 28 because the totem's level 26. So to me, that's not over leveling when the totems are really difficult. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to get it up to 28, but I almost want to end the episode here. Is that bad? I don't know. I, I don't think it's bad because I don't want you guys to be sitting through stupid Festival Plaza. Like, I'll endure the pain so you guys don't have to. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm going to endure fe the pain of Festival Plaza off camera because I hate it and there's no reason for you guys to go through it. But uh, in the next episode, we'll be taking on the Totem Pokemon. If you guys like this, please let me know by leaving a like down below and commenting, telling me what can be do it, what we can do to be doing better. Rip Fion. Um... But I love you guys all so much, and you guys make my day truly, truly, truly. Um, I didn't even mention it at the beginning of the video, but I'm taking a little bit of a, um, like, mini, like, a light week of streaming this week because I want to get everything set for videos and everything, so you guys are all fine and dandy at that mark. So we're all going to be streaming three uh, three or four times this week. Um, I want, I'm going, I'm shooting for four times instead of the normal six, but... Um, so yeah, we'll definitely do three, but we're going to try and do four, but I love you guys all so much. And like I said, you guys make my day. Um, but hope you guys have a fantastic night. Peace.